an American patriot. It was instilled in me as a young boy. I joined the Navy and went right into the SEAL teams. I love being around hardcore Americans. A couple of years ago, I went to climb Mount Everest, and I was up on the ice fields there where the ladders are. It's one of the most dangerous places on Everest. And we pushed ourselves to the point of hallucinating, bleeding, or passing out. I came close to dying. I didn't die. My life is so enriched from that experience. And that's what I'd love to try to instill in other people. Two minutes of as many perfect push-ups as you can do. Down, up, three, down, up, three, down, up, three, down, up, four, four, six, seven, seven. 58. Here, give me four more. 59. <laughs> Make sure you're off the ground. If you're on the ground, you're going to a zero. Once you lay down on the ground, you're done. Because if we see it's partial push-ups on the way up, you won't know you both got zeros till after you finish the score. It's not this. It's all the way down, all the way up, and that's one. 30 seconds, please still. The human body is a pretty amazing thing, especially when it's connected to a strong mind. The reason we make training so difficult in the SEAL teams and in Surviving Man is because you have to do much, much more to physical fitness and what some perceive as torture. When you take a break, you could be in the leading rest, and that could be like this, it could be like this, as long as you're not on the ground. We really want to see how people react to being uncomfortable. We have a saying in the SEAL teams, the more sweat and tears you put into training, the less bloodshed in wartime. The race to suck, as they say in the army. So we're gonna push these guys hard in training to prepare them for almost any contingency they will see during the mission. The other point of this is mind games. Because you're all gonna be facing one another. The first one who drops, like the XO said, gets zero points. Don't get disqualified, because we're just hair trigger on that shit. I wouldn't want Randy upset with me, that's for sure. <laughs> it's a long time to plank, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Especially in the gravel. You start to see when you start reaching that breaking point, you get that sewing machine leg, and there's no way to control it. It's pretty tough. It takes a lot of mental fortitude. Going on 12 minutes? Yeah, I think so. Randy's world-class athlete. He's been putting himself and others through this type of training for years. It's right here, between the ears, for most of us. I mean, sure, the body's going to start to hurt. You see the legs start to quiver and the body the core start to quiver because it's definitely working for core. But the mind can overcome that pain. Takes some for sure. It's definitely tough to do the plank in a, in a gravel field. So uh, adds a little extra layer of uh, psychological warfare to the situation. The plank is tough enough without having to deal with uh, the grind, so to speak. We chose 32 people out of over 500 people who volunteered to be on this show. These are hardcore American patriots. These people are all about defending our country, all about working out hard. They all have resumes and backgrounds that are very, very impressive. I'm competing in Surviving Man because it's a challenge. And I want to show my kids and my friends that are moms like me that you can take on challenges and exceed expectations. On the physical challenges, I think a lot more of it is mental than physical. You put your mind to it, the pain kind of goes away, and you just got to get past that breakover point and, and get there. I want to prove that I have what it takes to be amongst the top competitors in the world. I'm going to be mentally strong, mentally unbreakable. You have to stay focused, and I think that's one of the hardest things, especially as you're getting tired and fatigued. Every single task matters. I'm going to kick ass. You have to give it your all. I don't really care how big or strong people are, but if we push them so hard and they don't give up because of the mindset, and that's why I say blood from any orifice, push yourself till you bleed, till you pass out, that's the type of person we're looking for.